All those who are doing wrong need to resign. Step down. As the sun sat on Village Hall Friday, some other trustees welcoming what they describe as a new day in Dalton as they await the findings of the federal visit. Of course, you don't want to see the negativity that's been brought in. But again, the sun is shining today. And this is a good day for the residents of Dalton. Now, when asked about this FBI investigation, a spokesperson for the village of Dalton didn't directly address it, only saying that there wasn't a way a raid. Friday, April 19th was a great day for the community of Dalton. It was the first report of the FBI publicly making movement around the village, marking the first steps to the people gaining control back over their village. This wasn't the FBI's first time around town. They've been investigating and interviewing people for months now. But it was the first time that they walked into Village Hall and served court-ordered documents. That came just days after the indictment of Keith Freeman, Mayor Tiffany Teflon Tahoe's right-hand man and partner in crime. After this all happened, Tiffany Tahoe was all on social media trying to figure out how to get her supporters on her side. She had her team post this on Friday afternoon. They wrote, the FBI did not raid Village Hall today. As is being falsely reported, no further comments at this time. And side note, I don't know who's working for her right now, but they're just as incompetent as a super mayor. The mayor reposted that message and she wrote, to all you clowns that's a part of the circus, misery needs company. I pray for you all. Stop chasing fake news. Hashtag I stand with Tiff. Hashtag stay focused. Hashtag facts. Hashtag never trust the media. Hashtag fake news. Now it's interesting that that's her response to all of this. The truth is the FBI did go to Village Hall. They served at least two subpoenas. They are actively investigating the mayor and her administration, including her police department and her right-hand man, Keith Freeman. They already brought up charges on him in connection to bankruptcy fraud. But as I read to you in the FBI's press release last week, that indictment of Keith Freeman was a part of a bigger investigation. And that bigger investigation includes the Super City Girl Mayor, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe. Super Mayor! So, Super Mayor, you could just stop it with all the baby bot bimbo babble. Talking about fake news, posting pork chop pastors every day, and Bible scriptures. Lady, just stop. NBC 5's Natalie Martinez live tonight in Dalton talking to village trustees about this surprise search. Natalie? Stefan, those trustees say their cries have been answered, and now they're asking for a new administration. What exactly brought the FBI to Dalton Village Hall Friday is not clear, but trustees we spoke to clearly feel relief. The sun is shining today, and this is a good day for the residents of Dalton. For the last three years, uh, myself, the board members, uh, and the residents have been feeling like um, no one was coming to save us. My phone just went ballistic. Calls, calls, and calls, and calls. They said that the FBI is at Village Hall. I'm like, oh my God, someone has finally answered our cry. That someone is the Federal Bureau of Investigation. A spokesperson says in a statement that the FBI was conducting court authorized law enforcement activity in that area today. Department of Justice policy prevents the FBI from commenting on the nature of any investigation that may be occurring. Two subpoenas uh, was, was dispersed today. I'm sure it's connected to um, what we've been talking about lately, how tax dollars are being spent recklessly. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard and trustee Andrew Holmes are the focus of a civil lawsuit. It accuses Holmes of assault and Henyard of retaliation, stemming from incidents involving an economic development trip to Las Vegas last May. This week, village administrator Keith Freeman was charged in federal court with bankruptcy fraud. Chicago's former mayor and former federal prosecutor Lori Lightfoot has been hired to lead an independent investigation into the Vegas trip and more. We are the gatekeepers of the funds that come into this village. And we are being allowed, we're not being allowed to see what's going on with our tax dollars. So we reached out to the village and uh, to the mayor for comment late tonight. Earlier tonight, though, we did get an email statement, and it said very clearly there was no FBI raid at Village Hall. No further comment at this time. 
all I know is the mayor's gonna have to get a better defense because continuing with everybody just lying on her or trying to hide behind her race and gender or religion, that's not gonna work. Many in the South suburbs believe this is only the tip of the iceberg. Elizabeth. Don, the mayor here has been accused of misusing funds. The mayor and a trustee are being sued for an alleged sexual assault against a former village employee. The village administrator now facing bankruptcy fraud charges. And today, this afternoon, federal agents popping in Village Hall looking for some information. The, the House of Cards are collapsing. I think the government is uh, is taking action. It's normally bad news when federal agents stop by a village hall looking for documents, but that's not bad news to many in Dalton. Months and months and months we have been begging for someone to come out here and actually investigate as to what's actually going on out here. Video appears to show those federal agents inside Village Hall Friday afternoon, where we've learned they were serving two subpoenas. One focuses on employment and disciplinary records of 25 Village of Dalton employees, including three police officers and Keith Freeman, the senior administrator recently charged with bankruptcy fraud. That's 25 Dalton employees. So for all the people saying, oh, they didn't come for her yet, they're only coming for the people around her, please understand, them coming for records for 25 of the mayor's employees, if you don't think that has nothing to do with the mayor, then I don't know what to tell you. No, they're not going to question the mayor right now. When they come and pick her up, it's going to already be a sealed deal. That's why they're doing what they're doing, how they're doing it, and in that order. It's not a coincidence that her right-hand man is the first one to be indicted. For those who don't know, Keith Freeman, he knows everything and he's been doing everything with her. They're partners. It's a strategy. The other subpoena focuses on Freeman and any potential involvement with certain companies, whether or not they received any money, had business or contracts relating to the village. One trustee says Mayor Tiffany Henyard has left them in the dark for months. Since September, we haven't received financials. And the last time we did receive financials, we were informed that we were $7 million in debt. Yeah, now it's been about eight months since she locked out the board of trustees from all the financials. And for the short bus shouters in the back still wondering what did she do, you cannot do that. Not only should the board have access to financials, but the public in general, they're entitled to this public information. And as I've been reporting here since last year, the mayor with the help of Keith Freeman and her staff, they have been throwing out requests for information. But yeah, to have a surplus before she came into office, now to be seven million in the hole, that was eight months ago. Sure it's higher now. We all know they're hiding this for a reason. The Legislative Council for the Board of Trustees says the feds may have a tough time getting the documents they're requesting. The clerk is the custodian of the records. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is she doesn't have any records because they, they have taken the records away from her. I was being told that those documents probably have been shredded weeks ago. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. And guess who's behind shredding these documents? Tiffany Teflon Tahoe and Keith Freeman, allegedly. And you know what, I'm not even surprised by this because back in September 2023, I reported that Keith Freeman, the mayor, was going around deleting emails. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. The news of the Fed's Friday visit even drawing a crowd near Village Hall, as many in the community support an investigation into Henyard's practices. The trustees even hiring former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot this month to investigate the Dalton mayor. The people of Dalton want to be rescued. They, they, they know they're bleeding and they know there's no money left and they live there. And so, so what's next? Police services, fire services, water, what's next? The FBI did confirm that they were conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity in this area today, but could not comment further. Tonight, Mayor Tiffany Henyard posting on Facebook, pointing out that this was not a so-called FBI raid here at Village Hall, also adding in a statement, quote, to all you clowns, that's a part of the circus, misery needs company. I pray for you all. Stop chasing fake news. Live in Dalton tonight, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Well, Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, I told you about the feds watching you a long time ago, and now it's becoming more clear that is not fake news. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. 
Word is they've been allegedly shredding documents. Tell me what you think about this below. Shout out to our brother Mike G. I appreciate you for your support, as well as our sister Miss Abby. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.